guys, what's up? Uh, so today I just wanted to do a little review on the Thunderer uh, Mud Grip MTs. Just give you an idea of what you can expect out of these tires. I'm at about 30, 35,000 miles on these tires. And so I was just gonna do a 30,000 mile review. I'll just show you guys what the tread uh, wear is like. And uh, these are the 10 ply ones. So the tread wear may be different if you get, you know, the I don't know if they do a four ply in this tire, but I always recommend 10 ply tires, especially if you're going off road. That gives you the opportunity to run over rocks and stuff like that without having any flats or anything like that. Also, 10 ply tires tend to wear slower, but I am about to replace these tires actually with the Thunderer um, ATRs, which is more of a road friendly, off road friendly. So that gets into the first thing. Um, so one of the pros about these tires is they are super good off-road. Um, I've had them in mud, you know, rock bottom. Um, we drove over rocks and never had any issues with flats or anything. Um, on the road is more so of a con. They're great up till highway speeds, which I would say is about 70 to 80 miles per hour, realistically, is what people are gonna be running on the highway. Anything from 70, 75, you're fine. But as soon as you hit that 80 mile per hour mark, at least on my truck personally, and it could be a balancing issue that you know could have happened when these tires got mounted, I don't know. But it does have quite a shimmy to it. And it's not horrible, but you know, it's a mud tire. You, you're supposed to expect that out of a mud tire. But yeah, as soon as you hit highway speeds, it gets a little rough. Tire noise. I mean, you can't really expect no tire noise. They're a mud tire, they're pretty aggressive. I would say on a scale of one to 10, how loud they are, I would say they're probably a six, seven. They're not, you know, too loud to where you can't stand them, but they are loud enough to where people hear you coming. So yeah, we can go ahead and take a look at them up close. Um, this is after, like I said, about 30,000 miles. Uh, you can see that, you know, I probably still have a solid, like, I would say 15,000 miles left out of them before they're, like, completely bald. But I just want to replace them to be, you know, proactive. But, yeah, for 30,000 miles, they've done me pretty good. Um, I love that they have an aggressive sidewall, and I feel like that helps a lot off-road, so you can't, you know, you're not getting stuck as much. And it helps with climbing as well, grabbing the side of rocks and everything. I've never done, you know, rock crawling with these tires or anything wild like that, but basic off-roading, you know, some mud and stuff like that. Perfect. I've never had one issue with these tires. I have two 6570 R17s, and like I said, they are 10 ply. So they're like a 32 and they do pretty good. So, and in sand, they do pretty well as well. They clean out very good. You know, they're getting low on, lower on tread, so, you know, it does stick to them a little bit more. But sand does pretty good. I've locked it in one time in four wheel drive and some really bad sugar sand. But other than that, they've done really good. I have really no horrible complaints about these tires. Some people say that the mounting process can be a little tricky. Some people don't like balancing these tires, but the people I took it to balanced it and had no problems at all. So, and it could be just certain sizes that, you know, have issues with that. But as far as I know, they're a really good tire. I loved them. And we're about to put on the ATRs, which is still by the same brand, it's Thunderer. So we're gonna see how good those tires do. They have a 50,000 mile tread warranty. Uh, these tires, that's another thing that's a con. They do not come with a warranty as far as I know. When I purchased them, they did not say anything about a warranty on these. Um, you can look up, you know, look into that further, but a cheaper mud tire, you're only gonna expect about 30,000 miles out of them, honestly. But like I said, I have 30,000 miles on them and they've done pretty well. They said to keep these tires at around 35 PSI is where they love it. You know, you can put more uh, PSI in it if you're going to be towing or anything like that. I've towed my side-by-side -side with my uh, single axle utility trailer, six by 12 feet, and I didn't even put any more air in it, and it did perfectly fine. So, but yeah, that's my review on these tires. Um, I have them on a 2017 Colorado 
just to show you guys what the truck looks like. Like I said, they're like a 32 by almost 11. Uh, nothing too serious, but they've done great for me. So I would recommend these tires. I would give them, honestly, an overall review of about, I would say a seven. I mean, the price is really good. They have gone up since I purchased them, about $100 for a set of four. But other than that, like they're a cheap tire. The tire noise isn't horrible and you know they're not horrible on the road so if you're going to be doing you know consistent highway driving i would not recommend the mt that's kind of why we're switching to an atr is just to get that you know better on road driving but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um leave a comment what tires you use and how you like them like i said i'm going with the thunderer atrs now and they have a 50,000 mile tread life warranty so that's another reason why I'm switching. It's because they just have a warranty and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and follow all our other social media. Alrighty, guys. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.